Ophthalmology has been a section in the Department of Surgery for many years, but we now have a department which gives us its own vibrant identity. My name is Karim Damji, and I'm privileged to be the chair of our newly established Department of Ophthalmology and Visual Sciences. My medical education took place in Canada and the United States, and for the last 13 years or so, had been at the University of Alberta, serving as residency program director, fellowship director, and more recently chair of the Department of Ophthalmology and Visual Sciences. Why did I come to AKU? I have always had a passion for global health and building capacity. And to me, the vision of His Highness the Aga Khan really resonates. And that is to be at the forefront of scientific and humanistic knowledge. And also, whatever we do should be relevant to the population within Pakistan and the region. Now we also have a culture which is integrity and what I like to call the four C's. Curiosity, collaboration, collegiality, and can do. Earlier this year, we undertook a strategic planning exercise and developed a shared vision, which is to be a regional center of excellence for eye care services integrated with education, research, and leadership development. We want to create a center of excellence. We have got good four weeks undergrad program where third year medical students uh, spend some time with us. We not only show them clinical cases, but we uh, give them tutorials as well as we take them to operating room. The program is run by Dr. Rashid Beg. We've got four year residency program in ophthalmology and uh, our postgrad director is Dr. Samir Memon. So the ophthalmology residency program is one of the best program in Pakistan. It is supported by virtual simulation training, which is considered to be the best approach in the world. Once they graduate, they are safe, effective, efficient, and highly qualified specialists who are able to deliver high quality patient care. When I spoke about the center of excellence, it is not only for the education, but it's also for the patient care. The clinical patient side is seen by Dr. Harun Tayyab, and inshallah, he's going to be the in charge of the retinal fellowship program once it starts. Department of Ophthalmology and Visual Sciences at the Al Khan University Hospital is a state-of-art clinical and educational resource with sub-specialities like retinal disease specialists, pediatric ophthalmologists, oculoplastic surgeons, glaucoma specialists, and transplant surgeons. The main campus of Al Khan University Hospital serves as a hub for tertiary care, whereas hospitals in Karimabad, Garden, and Hyderabad they act as spokes for primary health care. Our services are keenly linked with continuous medical education, research, training, capacity building, and producing world-class doctors for tomorrow to offer best-in-class services across all Pakistan. Thank you. On a daily basis, we see diverse patients in our clinic who comes for the consultation. As a nurse, it is our duty to guide and facilitate patients at each step, from initial assessment to doctor visit for cure and follow-up. Quality is our motto and patient satisfaction is the primary goal. Our focus in research is translational research for the benefit of our patients. This would include health service research, focus on genetic eye diseases, focus on pediatric vision care, and all areas of research which will benefit our patients, particularly in low middle income countries such as Pakistan. We would like to collaborate nationally with other hospitals and eye departments across the country, but we would also like to collaborate with international institutes our vision for future is to perform research for our country and for our patient that would help the vision care research in Pakistan. The department and all of its members, the doctors and our nurses and staff alike, are heavily invested in training medical students as well as our postgraduate trainees in ophthalmology. Together, we hope to provide expert training and create the next generation of superb ophthalmologists in Pakistan and beyond. I would like to acknowledge the tremendous support from many generous donors. An example is Amina Sultan who is an alumna, and she and her family donated generously to make possible the Leila Endowed Chair for Ophthalmology. More recently, we've also had a generous donor from Edmonton, from Aliyah's Foods Limited, and that is Nurdin and Anis Chiwani and their family. And their endowment will help to establish strength for education and research endeavors within 
our department. So thank you to all our supporters and friends. I hope all together we will be able to build an exceptional department of ophthalmology.